Let me show you how to go through the initial configuration on Samsung Galaxy Tab A11. So first of all, of course, once we turn on our device, what you need to do is simply press on this button in order to proceed. Then we need to choose the language that we want to use. So let's simply search for English. I'm going to choose English United States. There we go. And let's go next. Now over here, we need to agree to the end user license agreement and the rest is optional, so we can go next. There we go. Now, of course, we can set up our Galaxy Tab A11 with another device, so if you want to, you can use your Galaxy smartphone or Android smartphone in general. You can also choose your iPhone or iPad. And uh, of course, in addition to that, we can just set up manually so you can perform a clean setup without anything. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually choose to uh, set up uh, manually. So let's choose this option. Now over here we can uh, lock or sign into connect into our Wi-Fi network. You can also use the QR code scanner over here if you want to. So you can so if you have Wi-Fi QR code, you can use that. And uh, you can also turn off Wi-Fi and skip this process if you want to. And uh, at least in my case, I can do that. But I'm gonna uh, just to connect my Wi-Fi over here. And once you enter the password, of course, you want to press connect. All right. So after that, we're gonna go next. Over here we have the service provider setup. So in my case, I need to restart my tablet to set up features and services from my service provider. So let's do this. All right, after that, if you actually use the LTE version, then you can also connect to mobile network. So you can turn it on or off over here and then we can go next. There we go. And we need to wait for the next screen. After that, you can copy apps and data if you want to. So if that's the case, then of course we can just go next. And if you once again want to perform a clean setup, then in that case, you want to choose to not copy. So let's in my case, I'm going to choose to not copy anything. Um, I still want to perform a clean setup. And now we have the option to sign into our Google account. And uh, of course, you can skip that if you want to. In my case, I'm going to actually sign in. And if you need to create an account, then we also have this option. Then we want to agree to Google Terms of Service. So let's do this. And if you want to, you can also set up the screen lock. So you can choose a pattern, a pin code or password, and you can also set up the face recognition. You can also skip this process if you want to and set up a password later on. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to skip for now, but feel free to actually, you know, um, set it up as you wish. So I'm going to skip that for now. Now we have the option to toggle location here. I'm just going to turn it off for now for myself. We can also allow number, uh, phone number verification. So in your case, you might actually want to do that. In my case, I don't really need to. And there is also the usage and diagnostic data that we can send. In my case, I'm going to turn it off as well. And now we can choose to accept. You can also create backups with your Google account. So you can back up your photos and videos as well as other device data. If you decide to back up something, you can check these boxes and then you can choose to turn on backup. In my case, I don't need Google backup, so I can skip that as well. Now we need to choose the default search engine. So let's uh, proceed. And most likely you want to choose Google. This is the most popular choice, of course. So I'm going to stick with Google and then we're going to choose to set as default. Now over here we have the Hey Google voice recognition. So you can say Hey Google out loud in order to activate the Google Assistant. So in this case, if you want to, you can of course press I agree and then you can set it up. In my case, I'm going to skip that. Then over here we have the option to access our assistant uh, without that locking our device. So if you want to be able to use your Google Assistant in the lock screen, then of course we can press I agree. And now let's wait for the next screen. There we go. Now we have the Samsung account. So you can sign into your um, Samsung account over here if you have one. If uh, you want to, you can also sign in with your Google account and uh, you can tap over here on forgot password or don't have an account in order to find some additional options such as uh, the options to create an account and uh, we can also choose that you forgot your ID or the name of the account and you can also choose to forget that you forgot password or you can skip this screen completely and uh, choose to set up later in the settings so you can so you don't have to do anything about it, you can just skip this entirely. Now over here we have Samsung service uh, legal information where we need to agree that we and we need to agree to terms and conditions essentially and then we can uh, choose agree. Then we have Samsung services such as auto blocker, customization service and personal data intelligence all of which can be toggled. So if you don't want to 
have something on and then of course you can turn it off and then we can press agree you can choose uh, the light or dark mode depending which one you prefer and let's go next and after that we should be able to uh, see recommended apps so if you happen to have recommended apps and then um, unfortunately you cannot really do anything about it so in this case i am offered to get TikTok, and uh, and yeah i cannot really skip this i cannot um, disagree to that i cannot uh, turn it off or something so at least in this case so unfortunately i have to agree i need to press next and there we go we are all set so let's uh, hit home and uh, let's see what we have next. So now we have this screen, at least in my case, we have uh, something about discovering and installing great apps. You can completely skip that and tap on later, but I'm gonna press continue to show you uh, how it looks like. So first uh, we need to choose our uh, gender. So in my case, I'm gonna choose male and let's go next, our age. This is about recommendations, of course. So let's choose the age and let's go next. And there we go, now we have some recommendations, which we can of course agree to, but most likely you don't need them. This is just a bloatware. So we're gonna turn it off, and uh, I believe there is nothing in here, so let's just choose finish, and there we go. And we finally have the home screen. Now of course over here we can swipe up in order to open the app drawer as well. And that's pretty much it. Of course, from now on, you can do whatever you want with your tablet. You can go to the Play Store, for example, in order to start installing apps. You can go through settings in order to set various things up. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.